the purpose of the tariffs is to modify China's behavior, especially in technology transfers and other abusive tactics such as subsidies and market uh, limitations. The real purpose isn't to end up with tariffs. Real purpose is to end up with a level playing field so that American firms can compete properly. Who speaks for the administration right now, um, Wilbur? I mean, who, who would I ask about the ongoing negotiations? Is it uh, Treasury Secretary Mnuchin? Is, uh, other people say Navarro has is, is got a lot of, uh, of sway uh, in the, into the president's mind. You're there. What, what's, is it a con everyone well, putting their heads together? How's it, how's it working? It's very much a collaborative effort. Uh, we meet at least once a week as a trade group, and we meet at least once a week in the Oval with the president. So this is not a rash thing. This is a carefully thought through exercise. And that's why, as you know, the original list had some 6,000 6, items on it. Now it's been trimmed. And the reason it got trimmed is we had six days of public hearings. There were 350 witnesses testifying, and we had over 6,000 submissions, ideas about which products to add and which to subtract. So the important thing, I think, for everybody to understand is this was not a shot from the hip. This was something carefully thought through. Uh, Mr. Commerce Secretary, it may not have been uh, shot from the hip, but it, it does seem like there's a little randomness to what made it on the list and what didn't. I can understand high chairs being taken off, maybe the argument being that you don't want to raise prices on baby goods for Americans who are going to be needing some of these items, but why did things like smartwatches not go on? Well, we were trying to do things that would be the least intrusive on the consumer. And there was no, no particular need to do smartwatches at this time, to do Bluetooth or any things like that. So we really went item by item trying to figure out what would accomplish the punitive purpose on China and yet with the least disruption in the U.S.